Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you another scenario related to thread binding, which you, you have the nested relationships in the model. So now comes here, okay? In my sign up, I will have uh, two more attributes, uh, two more fields. One is for the address, okay? And uh, on the address, we'll have a paragraph which is for the street. STRE, yes, I think it's the correct spelling, right? Good. Uh, name is, uh, what's the thing? Uh, street. Okay, name is a street. Okay. okay, P. And another one is the zip code. And I'm gonna use input, and I'm gonna use name. The code okay so the problem now is uh, I don't want just to have the street and a zip code in the user model what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have address model okay in the address model it's gonna have it have uh, two fields one is street the other one Yes, uh, how about this one? I use integer, okay? Zip, zip code. And uh, I also provide a getter setters, okay? And uh, I also will provide for what? For the two string, okay? And in my user, I will have an association, which a user will have an address. And now I also provide the getter setters for this one for the address. I also want to update for my two string method. Okay, I'm gonna update my two string method, which has the first name, last name, and address. Okay, it replaced the previous one. So now the problem is, I still using the user here, which means when I submit the form. When I submit the form, I want to first name, last name, bind to user first name, last name. And the problem now is how can I bind this street and this zip code to street and zip code in the under the address domain model. You cannot directly put an address here. You cannot directly put an address here, right? Because if you put address, this one is a string value. And as a string value, how can a string value know, how Spring know how to convert the string value into an object? So it does not work. But data binding can handle for nested relationship, which means this form, entire form, bind to the user object and you want this one to bind to address street so how to do that in this name you're using address dot street and how to kind of bind this value to the zip code you go to user have address then dot zip code so you're gonna have address dot zip code so this value will bind to address object, then street value, okay? So now let me run and show you if it works, okay? I'm gonna stop it first and I'm gonna run it. It might take a little bit uh, time, okay? Wait for the server to start. Okay, now I'm gonna do is uh, let me switch to the browser and show you actually uh, what I typed in the browser. Okay, now I'm gonna make a request to user slash. It's gonna go to our form. This is a change I made. 
and the fourth street I'm gonna use in 1000 North uh, fourth street okay and zip code I'm gonna use in 52557 okay and I click sign up and this is the result page it's just the hard coded values here and I'm gonna switch back to the ID to show you if we grab the values correctly in our controller so this is what I typed uh, print out in the system that out print line in the save user method and you can see you grab uh, the first them last them you also grab the values for the street and the zip code without any problem and uh, here I also show you another scenario which is whatever we typed in the browser is gonna be the string type and uh, for this zip code I use an integer it automatically converts the string value into an integer value and set it to the zip code. So I already introduced two kinds of scenarios for you uh, in two videos. The first one is a basic data binding, okay, um, which is uh, you have a first name and the last name, which will bind to user object, first name and last name. And Spring can also do data binding on nested relationship. What is a nested relationship? It means association. You have a user, user have an address, and a Spring do a data binding. It also can bind to address dot street, which means bind to user object your address dot street. Okay, that is advanced one. But if you have another case, which is like this. Suppose here you have input and here name is address. Which means you want this value, which is a string type. Okay, bind to address object. This cannot be done by Spring Framework automatically. And uh, in the future, I'm gonna show you a video which is talking about a formatter. And uh, when, after you add the formatter, then you tell Spring how to convert the string value on the GSP to be an object, object, okay? And uh, that's it for this video. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.